immortality. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, man, that really hurt for being immortal. Oh, thank God, I'm okay. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we're going to be taking a look at the sync mod. This mod actually allows you to clone yourself, which is awesome. So right here, I've got animals working very hard on these treadmills to make my clone possible. I'm sorry, you look like you're getting tortured. Oh my god, your head is facing the wrong way. Get your head out of there. That's, that's weird. Alright, there you go. You look much better now. And they have created this clone of myself, which is missing its mask. If your skin has a mask on it, guys... It's not going to appear in the first clone, but it's not a big deal, because actually, when you go into it, it's going to be fine. Oh my god, this is really like contorting the animals. I'm starting to feel slightly bad. Work a little bit harder. Just kidding. You guys are doing good. Um, but there is a reason I have a mask on my skin. It's because my face looks like that, guys. I have to cover it up for a reason. But anyways, we got to go over some recipes. There really isn't too many, which is great. There's only a few, and it's very simple to actually set this up. And then I'll show you guys how it works. First off, you need to create yourself a sink core, and this is used in the other recipes. So to make it, you will need two daylight sensors, a lapis lazuli block, nether quartz, an ender pearl, a block of redstone, and two emeralds. Like, could this really be more expensive? But when you see how this works, you're going to understand why. You can actually, like, save your life. If you die, you don't really die. You, like, go into your other clone. It's really cool. I've never seen a mod like this before. All right, so once you got that... You can make some other stuff. This one right here is the treadmill. Not too bad. Daylight sensor. Two black carpet. Iron bars. Redstone. And two obsidian. Alright, so that is what you get the animals on. As you can see, the toughest part by far is trying to get the animal on it. The mod had recommended using a lead, but it's still really hard to get them to convince them to run on the treadmill. I think it's easier in real life to get an animal to run on one. Just saying. Alright, so the next one is the Shell Constructor. And to make this, you will need the Sink Core from before, Obsidian, Redstone, and Glass Panes. And the last item is the Storage. So for this one, Obsidian, a Sink Core, a Block of Iron, two Glass Panes, and a Weighted Pressure Plate that's heavy. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff, but once you do it, it's really awesome. This block right here with my clone in it is actually the Constructor. So what you do is you put down the Constructor block, Put a treadmill next to it, get either a pig or a wolf to run on it, and it will create your clone very slowly. And the more you have, the quicker it will create. And then, this right here is the storage one, which is my clone storage section of this building. So if I go in here, this is going to pop up. And since I have one clone, I can click on this, and this part is epic. I'm flying through the sky, I'm coming back down, and I'm now in this body. And you're going to notice, I do not have my inventory anymore, which is very interesting. So yeah, these are completely different entities. And, oh, if you look at my face, my mask is back. So don't worry, if you have a mask, it'll, it'll be alright. I've switched completely with my other self, my inventory, everything. If I was in survival, it would switch me as well. And my inventory is still in there. Very cool. You can make tons of clones, and if you die... You're just going to go into the one that's, like, closest. So I would go right into here when I died and actually wouldn't be gone forever. Like, if you're in a hardcore world, you'd be just fine. Now I'll show you guys how to actually set this up. You put down a treadmill like this, and then you put the shell constructor right in front of it like that. And getting the animal on is really hard, so I'm just going to spawn one in on it. Good job, pig. Okay, then what you do is you actually right-click on this. And if I'm in survival, it does like half a heart of damage or something. And you see those little blocks coming in? That's actually my body being created. So really what you need to do is have lots of these guys going, or you have to wait forever. So let me place these down, and we will get some more creatures running. And you're going to notice it's going to start coming in much quicker. I'll just use all pigs for now. Alright, so they're all running. And if you look, it's building extremely quickly. So once it gets built all the way up, Myself will be born and I can switch between like tons of different like versions of my clones And this is what you need to do with the other thing the shell storage I put these down over here So all you have to do with these is power them with redstone So like a redstone torch or something like that will work really easily So I will put one down right over here and let me get some redstone get a torch 
And this is how you know it's working. The light turns green. So really simple. It's not working. I can get in there and actually go into one of my clones. And we need to hurry this process. The pigs, they're freaking out. They look like they're going to die. You guys okay? What are you looking at? Get your head back over there. In creative, you actually can right-click on it again. And it finishes off, like, making yourself. Because we probably don't feel like waiting for the entire thing. So now this one I put down, I can go in here, and I can easily choose one of my clones. You can see there's two different positions. I'm not sure which one's which. It's probably the one on the bottom now. So I will click on that, and here we go. I'm traveling once again. Actually, I went into this one instead. I wanted to go into that one over there. All right, let's try that again. All right, I'm going with the one on top. One cool thing about this mod is you can actually travel through dimensions as well. All right, there we go. So right in there. So you can surround it completely. It doesn't matter if there's, like, animals on every side. So what we're going to do now is head into the nether testing chamber. As you guys can see, I set up a little chamber right here. And all I have to do is step inside and choose one. And it's going to head me out of the nether and back into the real world. You can't do it through the end, guys. And I'd imagine, I don't really know for sure, it might not be compatible with other mods, too. But it's very cool that you can actually do that. So this can be used for teleporting as well as cloning yourself. So I'm back here once again, got my old items that we actually started with. And now I guess we should kill ourselves. Let's kill ourselves and see what happens. This is going to be awesome. I need to get something cool though to murder myself with. So guys, I found a better spot to kill myself. I went out of the nether and into the air and we're going to fall through and fall into the lava. Alright, here we go. Please land in the middle. Awesome. Alright, to our death. Oh man, I missed the lava. And here we go. I'm not actually dead. And I've spawned back in the closest one. Very cool, isn't it? So yeah, you can have to not worry about dying anymore. You'll actually come back in one of your clones. But of course my items are completely gone. But I did not lose my life. Alright, so we'll try it in the overworld now. And I'll show you guys it'll come to one of these ones instead. Which I think I killed the other one. So there's only one left anyway. Alright guys, I think I got some serious height here. I'm like above world height. Let's go. Game mode zero, and let's fall from the sky. We are definitely going to very die here. Alright. Oh my god, did you see my body? It looked like it crumbled to pieces. And we're back alive. Thank god. You guys did a great job keeping me alive like this. If it wasn't for you pigs, I would have died twice already. So I appreciate it. I'm just letting you guys know. So guys, the mod itself is very useful and very interesting too. You can create your own clones for teleporting, or they can actually save your life. But yeah, that's about all there is to show with this mod, guys. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for another mod video.